see Trying to get by, gonna survive Every girl has a dream Welcome to my world I'm a Yankee girl Hi, I'm Mason You've probably seen me on Yankee Girl TV Coffee Talk a few times What's your favorite thing about you, Dan? Well, I have two things One, that he's bold And, and the other one is because he loves me I like he's bald better. <laughs> oh, I know you. Hi, Mason. Hi. How are you? Good. Mason was on a coffee talk last year. She was the one that was trying to steal my hosting job. <laughs> I will be co-hosting the um, the next show of Coffee Talk. The young, the middle-aged, and the old. Well, hello everybody. It's the Gigi, your host of Coffee Talk. And you're probably all wondering, where is her bubbly personality? It's gone for today. Because let me tell you, today is the day that little pipsqueak Mason is coming to co-host Coffee Talk. <laughs> and if she does good, apparently, <sighs> she just may become the Coffee Talk host and replace Yankee Poodle. I have resorted to drinking wine versus coffee because I'll tell you, that little pip squeak's got a whole life. Well, if you've been paying attention to the show like you should be, you would know. Well, I'm sad to say that he is the day off today because he might be getting fired. Mason is going to be co-hosting today. <laughs> you probably all seen her a time or two. If she does a good job, out Yankee Poodle goes and in she comes. She is co-hosting today's Coffee Talk, The Young, Old, and the Middle Age. Which I don't know who came up with that name because if you ask me, it should be called The Young, Old, and the Beautiful. <laughs> I'm sure y'all know who the beautiful is. Anywho. <coughs> Excuse me. Mason is weaseling her way right in there. We are going to be talking to a senior today and we're going to see how Mason does with her interview skills. Hopefully she won't do too good. <laughs> so stick around, we'll be right back with more wine too. Well, we are back and we are going to be introducing our senior for the day. So put your hands together, a warm welcome for our senior. I believe her name is Kay. I don't know anything else about her. Look, Yankee already took a powder. <laughs> I think he knows he's on his way out. Anywho, we're going to welcome Kay to the set. So hello, Kay. Nice hello. to meet you. Hi, Gigi. I've heard so much of that. Well, we thank you for being on the show. I poured you a glass of wine. Oh, good. I can talk more then. Oh. <laughs> well, we don't like us to talk too much. Only me. But this was coffee talk. Well, it is. And normally we do drink coffee, but I was a little depressed today because, first of all, they named the show The Young, Old, and the Middle Aged. <laughs> Maybe you should put your glasses on. <laughs> you do wear them, don't you? <laughs> oh my God, who's the old? Yankee Poodles, our co-host, and um, we have a guest co-host on today. Obviously, she's the young one. And if she does well, she will be taking over Yankee's position. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. So. Well, if I do well, I'll probably take over the position. You think so, Gigi? 
No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, how did you get on a coffee talk today? What do you know? Oh, I know Michelle. She's a neighbor of mine. Oh, so that means I guess I'll be seeing a lot more of you too. Oh, yes. <laughs> Seems like whenever somebody uh, gets on the show, they know Michelle and then they're on over and over again. So you're her neighbor, huh? Yes. Oh. And her oh. poodle, Yankee, is good friends with my poodle, Tiny Tim. Oh, uh -huh. oh, I know Tiny Tim. <laughs> he was on the show once or twice. Yes. He was another one trying to take over Yankee's co-hosting position. <laughs> we didn't know what was going on. Could you please go away? There is our new co-host. Apparently, the producers thought Yankee Poodle wasn't pulling his weight as co-host, so they brought in a second co-host to see how he does. Apparently, Yankee Poodle, the original host, is going to be the better choice. <laughs> oh, oh, now you want to come in and say hello? We're back, and welcome to our episode, The Young, Old, and the Middle Age. <laughs> or as if I would change it. I'd say the beautiful. Anywho, Mason is going to be asking Kay um, some questions. Kay is our senior for the day. So go ahead, Mason. This is your big debut. Say hello to the audience. Hello. <laughs> and uh, go. Let's see what you got. The first thing I ask, I would ask a senior is, mm, how old are you? I don't mean is if this is too much to ask. How old are you? <gasps> how old do you think is old? You better be careful what you say. How old do you think somebody has to be to be old? Mm, 99. Ooh. 99. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no. Why? She rolled in here on a stroller thingy or whatever the scene is do at 99. As much as I will say. Well, that's TMI for me. <laughs> you, you might as well ask how much people weigh, Mason. That's awful. Oh, that's no? even worse. Uh, no, that's a <sighs> So, Kay, how long have you been a senior? Oh, me. I think I've been a senior for about, I guess it depends on how you define senior, but I think about eight years. When I was probably born in that same year. That's about right. Not, not too much <laughs> off. I might have been a senior a little oh, longer God. before you were born. I might have to pour some more wine on that note. <laughs> oh, by the way, we got you some grape juice <laughs> because we know you don't like coffee and you certainly can't have wine because you're too young. That's why it's called the young, old, and whatever. I forgot. Okay, Kay. What was it like when you, what was your life like when you, when you were a kid? Hmm. You know, that's been so long ago, I've almost forgotten. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You're a comedian, too! Because <laughs> you know what my brother says, we're older than dirt. Older than dirt. But when I was a little girl, things weren't too different except no computers, no TVs, no cell phones. Oh, oh my god, that sounds like a boring life. <laughs> Awful dull. What the heck did you do? So, wait, um, how did you call people? You didn't call people? We had a phone in the house, but most of the time, our mother and dad just used the phone. And we were limited in how much we could use it. Wow. That don't sound like fun at all, huh? <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I know But I used done. to slip and call my boyfriends. Oh, oh my God, okay! <laughs> That's my kind of girl. Oh, do you like kids or do you think they're annoying or rotten? Oh, I love kids. I have four grandchildren, but the youngest one is 12. But I 
would really rather be around kids than old people. <laughs> I guess that's because I'm a kid at heart. What do you think, Gigi? Are your kids annoying? Yes, they are quite annoying. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Little pip squeaks, right? Yeah, like the one sitting next to you. As a matter of fact, I got a bone to pick with you, Mason. <laughs> Don't you give me that snarly <laughs> look. I peeped at your character interview that you did for Yankee Girl TV last week. And I noticed that you said I wear too much makeup, too much jewelry, and I spit when I talk. Bit. What do I like about Gigi? Like, she wears like so much makeup. I don't like if she does like an overload of jewelry and this crazy like pants and big shirt. I don't like that she's kind of sometimes spits on me when she talks. She does spit on me a little bit. So that is why I brought this along and put Kay in the middle of us so I won't spit on you. But let me tell you something. If we're being honest with each other here, your breath wasn't the freshest that day. <laughs> How do you like that, Apples? They're very rotten. <laughs> They're rotten, she said. <laughs> They're rotten, all right. It smells pretty rotten. So there, I guess we're even. I spit on you and your breath wasn't that fresh. So there. Wait till I do my character interview. Don't you have anything to say? Actually, yes. Well, of course you do. <laughs> what? Your breath wasn't that fresh either. What's your next question for our senior today? Do you seniors actually say, oh, my back? <laughs> I'm afraid we do. The knees hurt, the back hurts sometimes, my elbow hurts sometimes, so that's just part of being a senior. Oh Lord, that's what I got to look forward to. You gotta live with it, girl. I hear there's a lot of doctor's appointments when you're a senior, is that true? Almost every day or two. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, they are. They better kill me before I get there. <laughs> oh lord. Matter of fact, I'm going to the back doctor tomorrow. Oh lord. And no. she's older than I am. Oh my lanta. <laughs> How old is that? <laughs> okay, next question. Are you done? Because I got some questions for her. I gotta know. I'm gonna be a senior before you. I mean, of course, it's gonna be a long, long, long oh, time. Oh, right. you need my glasses. <laughs> don't you be getting smart. I don't have any more questions. Go on. That was it? Yeah. That was your big debut? Yeah. Well, that was well, awesome. You did a good job, Mason. Thank you. I don't think so. I think you could have prepared a little better like me. I want the juice, Kay. I want to know is there still hanky panky going on when you're a senior? It depends on whether you have enough wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Maybe your husband will get lucky tonight. There you and go. It kills the pain. Oh my god. No more back pain. Well, maybe you drink a little more, you won't have to go to the doctors either. Now, I understand when you're a senior, you get quite wise, you have a ton of wisdom. Tell us something you know that we don't know. Oh, well, the one thing, you get wise, but then you forget everything. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't help you if you're wise and you can't remember. There was this lady, I met this other senior once, and she said having dementia was kind of fun. And I said, well, why is it kind of fun when you can't remember stuff? And she says, well, I get to hide my own Easter eggs. <laughs> she 
she hides them, but then she can't find them. Because she forgets where she hides them. Oh my lord. She had the best attitude. What the heck is going on down here? Well, Mason, I'm not sure how you're doing on your big debut as a co host because I didn't hear you get anything juicy out of her yet today. And so far, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> okay, I'll get a more interesting question. I don't want to tell you. What? I have a little habit of love. If I <gasps> What'd she say? She's got a habit of snorting. Snort. Only if I laugh a lot. Yeah. Well, try not to laugh a lot, because okay. that would not be very I've becoming. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. One time oh. I farted, and I sneezed, and I coughed. And then and you I snorted? Went, uh, <gasps> Does oh. that, that, that would think, be something I think that, you know, seniors would do. <laughs> <laughs> that is not very nice. <laughs> okay, okay. What could you couldn't do now that you could do as a kid? Oh, lots of things. Like, I used to be able to jump rope, play in the mud and make mud pies. Have you ever done that? Yeah. Um, even when I was a little older, I could do things like dive off diving boards, bungee jump. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, so you're fresh out of bungee jumping these days, huh? But now, gotta be careful these days. That's exactly right. Why? Well, you go to the doctors every day anyway, so what's the difference if you break a bone? Ah, you can see the doctor the next day. <laughs> oh, Mason, you know that was funny. You just don't want to give me any credit, do you? No. <laughs> I think Mason's going to take over. I don't think so. Actually, she's right. I might. I don't think so. Whoa. Because you know what? The only thing that got you coming back, not that you're friends with Michelle, but that the viewers liked you. And now I think they're starting to see a little snarly side of you. Mm -hmm. Viewers like snarly. <laughs> Whose side are you on anyways, Kate? The older side or the younger <laughs> side? You're saying that you're old. You just said that you're old. Oh, I think she might think I'm Vijiji might think I'm a threat because I'm gonna host my own show when I grow up and might take over her fans. Anywho, Kay, is there anything that you would like to ask? Um, what do you like to do, Mason, at your age? Um, Steal people's jobs. <laughs> to jump on trampolines and play with my friends. I just got a new book uh, called A Girl's Friendship, A Guide to Girl's Friendship to make friendship bracelets and stuff with my friends. Oh, does it tell you anything in there about not taking your friend's job? <laughs> it should. <laughs> or maybe you should go spend a little more time jumping on the trampoline <laughs> like eight-year-olds should be doing. Okay, is there any questions you would like to ask me? Yeah. How old are you, Gigi? <laughs> I don't ever tell any information like that. That's a good answer, Gigi. <laughs> I thought so too. <gasps> the more wine I drink, the better answers they give. Come it's on. Kind of like How do you get so sassy? <laughs> Oh, that's just natural. Comes natural to me. It's in the jeans. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's in my jeans. They're quite, quite tight. There's not much room for anything else in there. <laughs> so my mom was like saying in this conversation with my dad and I was wondering, what is menopause? What did you say? Menopause? Mm-hmm. Well, I think you might be asking me what menopause is uh, and how the uh, hell would I know, Mason? All I can tell you is the men in my life certainly are not pausing. <laughs> they just keep rolling. So there. Why are you not married? 
You're awful nosy over there. Yeah. Don't you have anything nice to say? Oh, sorry. Like, um, I don't know. Is this going to take long? No. I like your hair. Oh, well, thank you, Mason. Finally. Thank you. Yeah, that's like asking Kay if her teeth are real. <laughs> oh, oh my God! I pulled up funny. Oh, I'm sorry, Kay. I, I really do think your teeth are real. No dentures here. Well, you didn't have to answer that question. How about the hair, Gigi? Kay, you're starting to get on my bad side too. <laughs> Get on her bad side. Oh, what happens if you get on her bad side? <laughs> what does she do? Apparently, you get to keep coming on the show. Are you going to say something? I am out of words. Ooh, Gigi is speechless. First of all, Kay, Sp it's the Gigi. Second of all, <laughs> what was the naughtiest thing you've done as a kid? Ooh. Well, when I was a kid, I used to do little tricky things, and then I would turn around and act like my brother did. <gasps> oh my God, that is brilliant! <laughs> did you ever do that with your sisters, Mason? Yes, <gasps> and my brother. <gasps> and you all think she's innocent. I told you I had a number. <laughs> I know, but Mason thought we thought. This oh, is a watch. A watch <gasps> with lots of sparks. Oh my God, where Ooh. did you get that? Sometimes I go to big lots. <gasps> I go there too. Big lots. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they have watches with lots of sparkle. Ain't Ooh. that the cheap store? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did he ever steal anything? No, because if I had, I would have had my fanny whipped off. Oh my God! I got my fanny whipped a couple times with the back of a hairbrush. Yes. Oh my God! It hurts, let me tell you. Oh, Mason, you're coming up with some Vajiji kind of questions. I'm actually a little impressed here today. She likes to annoy me. I like being on Coffee Talk because I like kind of getting on the Gigi's nerve. It's kind of fun, but her heart and brain got too big for her body, so she died a few weeks after her birthday. And I still have the bone by her grave, you know, and stuff. You still have the bone yeah. marker. Bone marker. That's kind of modern. This boss, so she never scratched me, and she cuddled with me when I went to sleep. But one day she ran away and got hit by. It. Well, we don't know what happened. But something. But we like saw like a dead cat in the room, so we got a Santana. So that's. What uh, Mason, mm. we want more viewers, not less viewers. <laughs> Let's try not to depress the people out in the world. Okay, okay. With all your sad pet stories, okay? Have you met Tiny Tim? Mm -hmm. You met Tiny Tim, that's my poodle. And he's best friends with Yankee. Mm -hmm. He's such best friends that he was also trying to take Yankee's job. Everybody seems to want that job, co-hosting. Must mean because you all want to work with the Gigi. <laughs> I guess I can't blame you. <laughs> That's probably it. I think so. Yeah. It's okay. What's the most exciting thing about being a senior? Um, never having to worry about what anybody else thinks. <laughs> Y'all just don't care, do Just it. do whatever you want. Oh my and don't God. worry about it. I kind of do that now though, and I'm I'm only very young still. Are you like 31? Oh. I am very close. Just why do seniors take naps? 
Well, when you get to be a senior, a lot of times you go to bed early, like nine o'clock, and you get up early, like five or six o'clock. Yeah. I double that. <coughs> That's the time I get up at Christmas. I don't ever get up at that time. Yes, Mindy. So, like two o'clock in the afternoon, you're sleepy. <laughs> you have to have a nap. I guess so. <gasps> <laughs> Mason! <laughs> you sure she didn't get into the I, old people's juice? I know. What is that green thing around your wrist? Do you go to the YMCA? Yes, I do. I go to, for a swim class because I'm going in Little League swim up. Oh, sorry. Little League swimming, um, racing, swim racing. Oh. Did you get that? I you? did. Oh. I did. We're working on dives now. We've learned 15 new swimming techniques. Well, maybe you could teach Kay again because she says you can't dive anymore. <laughs> I don't swim anymore either. I'm just learning. I don't really know how to. Oh. Well, you're out of luck, Kay. No oh. diving for you. I'm at oh. oh, and Kay, there is some um, seniors there that like work out, and there's a little place where the seniors can talk together, and they do little like activities together. They're right by a little children's room where the little kids hang out and you can volunteer to watch them. Oh. So you might well, want to check it up. Since I like kids, that would be a good idea. <laughs> Maybe not for Gigi. What? Maybe not for Gigi. No, sitting around lunch and watching a bunch of rug rats jump in the pool. It doesn't sound like my kind of cup of tea. My Wanda. sisters are not rug rats. Well, I didn't say your sisters were rug rats. My sister spent every day in that room in the morning. I just said, Mason, don't get so defensive. I just said that I don't think it would be very fun to sit around and watch them jump around like me. Cheers. Here you go. The young, old, the old and, and the middle. beautiful. Wrong again. <laughs> the young, the old, and the beautiful. <laughs>